How's it guys? My name is Mitch and this is an instructional guide on how to live, work and study from home during a pandemic. Enjoy. The first step in this guide is to wake up in the morning with the normal existential dread that accompanies modern young adulthood in addition to the daily panic of living in a pandemic. Get up and begin cleaning your room. The filthy mess you call a bedroom can make a big difference to your mental health and mood, so make sure it's nice and clean and a semi-livable space. Get distracted by all the disastrous news and happenings of the world that are over-sensationalized by the media, yet seem like very real and immediate threats. Read the news for a while and then conclude that the world is fucked, even though it is most definitely not, and we all have so much to look forward to. This should be followed by breakfast that comes in three parts. A lovely cup of tea alongside a bowl of Brunutro, because we all need more protein in our lives. A piece of chocolate cake that you definitely should not be eating at 8 in the morning, but can't stop yourself from devouring. And a poached egg on toast while you talk to your dad about the pending economic crisis. What are they going to do? Smile at your pets, because they don't know what's happening, but I'm damn grateful that you are home the whole day. Come on, look, look at the camera. Look at the camera. <laughs> Next up on the agenda is to brush your teeth, because people who don't brush their teeth properly probably won't be successful in life, and that is not the type of person that you want to be. Begin the workday by returning to the same room you've been stuck in for several days now, and have a look at your schedule. Try and stick to it. I'm working on calculus in this footage you're watching and so I'm suitably confused and frustrated because my brain does not enjoy 3D visualization of shapes and is battling to wrap itself around the transformation of variables for double integrals. Persevere anyway because any progress is good progress and the world relies on maths. Also your schedule says you have to do maths and sticking to a schedule is great in times of stress like the pandemic. Next up is those chores that mom says are absolutely essential to stave off boredom and keep the house in one piece. They may be work, but at least it's a break from the monotony of sitting in front of your computer the whole day. While cutting your granny's grass, wonder at the sheer idiocy of whoever designed an electric lawnmower with a cord that constantly gets in the way and threatens to electrocute you at a moment's notice. Audiobooks help pass the time working. This one I'm listening to right here is called Why We Sleep and is about sleep, its benefits, and the science behind our daily nighttime rituals. I'm listening to a part about narcolepsy and various sleep disorders, and it's actually damn interesting. Procrastinate by lying on your bed for a while and wondering what all of your friends are currently busy doing, and try not to think about how much you miss your homies. Go distract your family members for a while and attempt to help them build a puzzle, realizing in the process that you hate puzzles and do not have enough patience for this shit. Nope. <laughs> Don't have the patience for that. Go stare out the window for a while and remember all those good times you weren't under lockdown and spent all day surrounded by people and got to go out the house more than once a week and suddenly identify with your dogs that don't ever get to leave the house. Lunchtime, the second most important meal of the day and a chance for you to retain some normalcy under this weird time of lockdown and isolation because lunchtime is a normal thing, even if you are at home and this is the sixth piece of bread you're eating today. Try not to worry about how much weight you're going to gain at home. Read a textbook for a little bit after lunch and try and understand the microprocessors and how the fuck transfer functions for second order active filters work and wonder how Isaac Newton managed to develop his theories of gravity, calculus and relativity while under a similar lockdown in London in 1665 during the Great Plague and when he was also just into his early 20s. Feel bad about yourself and your intelligence for a while after that. Do a little bit more work and try not think about the impending wave of varsity work heading your way when this extended recess ends and what you have to catch up and all the work that you should have done in this period and just stress yourself out, you know, just a little bit. After an hour or two of headbanging, try to work on something else but get distracted by an episode or two of a really good TV show. I'm watching Silicon Valley at the moment and I'm really enjoying the portrayal of technology startups in San Francisco and how running a business can be a hilarious endeavor. Around this time, you want to try to hit up some exercise and replace the hole in your heart the gym has left by lifting buckets of water, doing an ungodly amount of push-ups and lifting strange household items above your head in precarious positions. You'll feel a lot better about the lockdown situation after this. Staying home is a great opportunity to really focus on the parts of the body you've been neglecting in the gym, and so try and design your workout schedule around these weaknesses. 
Try not to freak out though when you feel a slight tickle in your throat after your workout and obsess about whether or not you have coronavirus. Shower. It's the small things in life that make it great and being grateful for everything you have and the small moments of bliss is important in times of stress and chaos. Realize also that you're running out of soap and start stressing about the potential lack of soap if the pandemic continues any longer. But eat dinner with the family and try not talk about coronavirus. The Ferris wheel effect, in fact. Because when you're on a Ferris wheel, the only thing you can talk about is how you're on a Ferris wheel. The view from the Ferris wheel, how the Ferris wheel is affecting your life. And the coronavirus is the exact same thing. So try to talk about other things and just enjoy each other's company. After dinner and a dessert you definitely should not have eaten, wash a few dishes as your contribution to the nightly family routine, and then try to do something productive like work on a Udemy web development course you've been working on for ages and really want to complete, but probably get distracted by a phone call with your friends who you really miss and can't wait to see once the lockdown is over. So this concludes another day in lockdown, uh, fulfilling your civic duty to not spread the virus and stay home and just, you know, help other people stay healthy. And to remember that this is only a temporary measure and it is an opportunity to live life differently for a change and realize how great our life actually is. That sounded very scripted. I, I, yeah, they definitely know that you're reading this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks for watching this instructional guide on how to live, study, work and try not be depressed at home during lockdown. Hope your lockdown's going well and uh, anything to say? Peace. Yeah, bye.